dark gray trimmed with the green and white. You see Immaculata in the navy blue. Down low, Rogers. The layup is good, and Wagner off to the 2-0 start. Doing a little bit of everything, or should we say a lot of everything. <laughs> Here's Rogers off the double team, extra pass, and another for a three. There's good. There's, but now able to play more man defense because of the return to some familiar depth on this roster, and that one is good and a foul here at the 13-10 mark. Here's Hunt on the drive. Baseline for Ford. Backing in, quick spin, and the power move to finish. Sloppy play on both ends, and to the bucket getting it rejected by Rogers is Allen. Wagner with a one on two, the Euro step, and the layup that is good at a foul. Aston almost gets a turnover. Schultes able to hit from three. To, to bring energy to the rest of the team, because when he, when he got the, one of those earth shattering dunks down, the team would just light up on the bench. He'd go rim protector and difference maker offensively. Here's a three in the corner, Kitchen, and it is good. Oh, he gets the very friendly roll and a foul. So about what, 25 miles or so from Philly? Here's a layup with the left hand that is good by Morales. To follow up the player of the year type of season that he had last year. I mean, he's he's been incredible efficiency-wise, facilitating-wise. He's doing it all. He is impressive. Yeah, he has not been as efficient shooting the basketball. Um, there's a little more traffic around the rim. He's just commanding a little more. The max of Immaculata, Ryan, but not mighty in the height department. I don't know how to follow that one up. <laughs> Here is Martinez <laughs> with a running floater that is good. Um, he's got a little bit more range in Taylor. He could step out and shoot it kind of like the top of the key, but um, they're similar in that respect and behind the arc. That's where guys like Nigel Jackson and you know Pr Price Noel are very important. It's from the intimate crowd here tonight and off the steal right on cue here's Morales driving and the finger roll that is good at a foul got the two and it could be three here's Alex double teamed all the baseline and gets it back outside the returnees here's Williams for three he's got it front court Schultes gets it back out his three-pointer is good And that shot is good underneath by Steinbrenner. Played at that time, and as a result of their first of those three straight titles in 72, there was a feature film made called the Mighty Max. And here's a layup that is good. And, and back at it comes for Wagner. Here's Morales to the baseline, drive and kick. Open three is good for Delani Hardy. Um, but he's looking really good tonight, very active defensively. And then hitting the three, that's a big Wagner need. If he could make the perimeter shot. A lead for Williams, chases it down, lays it up and in. Oh, the athleticism. Harvard I hitting. was going to get to that in the interest <laughs> of fairness and objectivity. Down to six to shoot, four play and beat the clock, and hits. 80-31 Seahawks, 8-10 to go. Here's a spinning move by Miller, who finishes with the left hand. Before that was struggling coming in. Uh, he's certainly not struggling tonight. Off the Morales miss, the outlet for Steinbrenner to the bucket, rejected! That doesn't surprise me, he was actually 82nd in the country in assist rate at 30.5 coming into tonight, so he's been a terrific facilitator. Williams, who has checked back, along with Rob Taylor the second on the drive to the bucket, Morales and a foul! You've got the core four back, right? But one huge difference we would expect this season will be the minutes played by those guys. The airtime right here, NEC front row, it'll be Wagner and Delaware State off the double team, cross court from Fletcher to Miller, he hits, and a foul. Back the other way, Williams with a lead for Fletcher, the layup is good. 